All right, Texas Jack back here again. Want to wish every one of you guys a very happy 2016 Thanksgiving. So, with that in mind, what we're going to do today is do two turkeys. So, I got two turkeys. I went down the store and I didn't buy any expensive turkeys. I just went down and bought, you know, just just a, a cheap turkey. Wanted to see how this is going to turn out on the rec tech and I'm gonna do another one on the Big Easy. So, I've had turkeys before on the Big Easy for the last three or four years. They turn out awesome. Never done one on the Rectech, but we're gonna do one today. So, basically today, I'm not gonna bore you guys with dressing this turkey all up and stuff, so I'm gonna make this quick. I took the turkey yesterday afternoon, about four o'clock. I took two gallons of water, poured it into a bucket. I, I took some uh, a cup of uh, kosher salt. I took a cup of brown sugar. I took two cups of apple cider and one cup of orange juice. Mixed it all together. Put the turkey in and I did, did the same exact thing for another turkey and put it in another bucket. <clears throat> so I let that set overnight it is now eight o'clock in the morning and I've got the turkeys out of the buckets. I let them, you know, I poured all that juice out and then I filled the bucket back up with water. Let those turkeys sit in there for about 20 minutes. Rinse all that salt off there and stuff, you know. And then I dumped that water out and then I rinsed the turkeys off really good. And uh, now I've, I've got my, my injector. We're gonna inject this turkey and uh, I'm using both the, on both turkeys, I'm going to do them the same. I'm going to use the Tony Cackery's butter marinade. So I'll inject both those turkeys. I got a bottle for each turkey, and then I'm going to season both these turkeys with a Rectech Grills Jamie's Gourmet Greek Rub. And I tasted this last night, and it tastes fantastic. So I can't wait to put it on the bird. So if you guys would just stay with me. I'll get this bird out there on the grill and in the Big Easy. I'm looking at about 325 degrees on the Rectech grill and I'm guessing maybe about three and a half hours maybe for it to be done. I'm not sure, but we'll cook it till it's about, oh, uh, you know, I, I want to make sure it's over 165 degrees for sure. No, no more than 180 degrees and I'll check it a couple different places in the breast, back here in the thigh. You know, we want to make sure that we have over 165 degrees before I pull it off the Rectech. Same thing with the Big Easy. If you don't know about the Big Easy, it's an infrared uh, oilish fryer and it uses indirect heat. And man, I'm telling you, that thing cooks a bird. Wow. Uh, you know, like I said, I've had, you know, birds the last four years on the Big Easy. And I always cook multiple birds, you know, when, when we go to our family functions. And every year, the Big Easy is the go-to bird. I mean, that bird will be gone before any other bird. So we're gonna see how the Rectech performs against the Big Easy today. So stay with me, guys. Be right back to you. All right, there we are. We got that bird seasoned up. We got her sitting on the grill. Go ahead and close the hatch there. Rectech grills, baby. Yep, that's what we're doing today with this turkey. Decided to throw it at about 245 degrees for about an hour, give it some extra smoke, and then we'll crank her on up to about 325. We'll be back to you. All right, Texas Jack back. Got that bird sitting here in the cage, ready to go into the big easy. Just drop that thing down in there just like that. Whoa, man. That wasn't supposed to happen. Anyway, the big easy is real easy to operate. You just turn it on and click the igniter. I started that thing about 30 minutes ago. So it's good and warm. Hear that turkey cooking already. So while we're at it, it's time to bump this sucker up. On the rec tech, we're gonna take her on up to 325. Let her cook there for a little bit. Yeah, baby. Looking 
good. So we'll let her do that for a while and I'll come out here and I'll put the meat probe in it here in a little bit. Texas Jack be right back to you. Alright, Texas Jack back here again. I pulled the bird off the big easy and uh, man that baby is done. So I'm going to let you take a look at this thing. That's a good looking bird right there. We'll get her out of there. I'm going to let her rest in there for about 10 minutes and uh, <clears throat> we'll put her on a platter. Uh, right now, I checked it in a couple of different spots for temperature. This is reading 167. That's the coldest part right there because it's at the top. Everywhere else is uh, in between 175 and uh, down down to 167, like I said. So this baby's done, and we are going to put her on a platter here in a minute and cut into it and get ready to do some feasting. We'll be back to you. All right, let's take a look at the Rec Tech bird, see what's going on there. Got that grill set at 325 and it's maintaining 326. My thermometer's not working too good there, so I'm having to use a different thermometer. So let's take a look. Oh, my. Look at that baby. Mm -hmm. See how we're doing here. So that's 177 right there. Maybe a few more minutes. We're showing 165 there, but we'll check it a few different places and see. A few more minutes and this baby ought to be done. All right, we got that bird off the rec tech. It's looking really good. Check the temperature. Thighs reading about 175. And there at the breast, I'm reading about 165, 167 degrees. So this baby going to rest right there. And then we're going to cut her up here in a few. Texas Jack be right back to you. All right, Texas Jack back here again. We're getting ready to cut into the big, easy bird right now see what this thing turned out to be like. So let's take a look here. Get over here where you guys can see it here. We'll just cut a little sliver off right there. Oh yeah. And look at that. That is juicy right there. That's a good juicy piece of meat right there. Coming off the breast. See what she tastes like. Wow. Turned out perfect. Mm. Wow. Big easy, guys. So I'm going to cut this bird up and then we'll come back to you. Take a look at the rec tech. Texas Jack. Signing out.
Got that big easy all cut up. Now it's time to look at the wreck tech bird. Like I said, both these birds I did them did them the exact same way, just cooked them in two different methods. One in the big easy, and one in the wreck tech grill. Let's see what we got here. Mm. It's got a nice color there. Some of that's coming from you know when I brine this bird. Let's take a look. Let's taste this baby, see what we got here. Oh man. Mm. Wow. The Rec Tech did a really good job of, of just putting the smoke into this bird. It has a nice, just easy smoke flavor to it wonderful bird here i may have overcooked it just a little bit you know but you know i'll cut into the rest of it and see what it looks like but man i'm telling you it's tasting good and you can't go wrong either way rec tech or the big easy so until next time texas jack signing out here You know, guys, I was thinking there for a minute that that Rec Tech bird was a little bit overdone. And I got to cutting into this baby, and she's still pretty dang juicy. I mean, take a look at this. I mean, look at those juices running out of there. So, I think I spoke a little bit too soon, and let me tell you. I mean, look at that. That is one juicy bird right there. Man, I tell you the brine and the Cajun injection that I did to it, and then the smoke on this baby. Wow. It did a great job. Rec Tech Grills, guys. If you don't know about them, go online, check them out. RecTechGrills.com. Till next time, Texas Jack, signing out.